Peace and welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. Now today what I want to do is I want to talk about something that many of you may not know about, um, some of you may know about, but I want to talk about this because I have spoken to many people and I've introduced this to them and they didn't necessarily know too much about it. So I just assumed that, well, since these people did not know about it, I want to introduce this to the world. And that is making money using credit cards. Now you may ask the question, well, how do you make money using credit cards if you have to spend the credit cards and then there's interest rates on top of the credit card? I don't technically like to use my credit cards. I only use the bare minimum if I have to just so I can just so my credit report can show payments. Well, that may be good in one sense, but not necessarily good in another. And the reason I say that is for various reasons. One of the reasons is that you want to actually spend the credit card if you want to have a higher credit limit on that particular credit card. What do I mean by that? So say for instance, if you, ha if you have, hypothetically, $1,000 on your credit card, a credit limit on your credit card, and you only spend maybe like $50 or so per month on that particular credit card, it'll be hard for you to actually get a higher credit limit, a credit limit increase if you're not really utilizing the credit cards because then the banks are going to say well what's the point of us increasing your credit limit if you don't necessarily use them so it's actually good to use your credit cards now I will say this just because you use your credit cards that does not mean that you're gonna to have to pay interest on them interest kicks in when you when you wait to after the 30-day time limit to make your pay or not to make pay but to pay it in full so after 30 days then the interest will actually start to accrue if you pay the full balance before the 30 days are up then what happens is that you don't have to pay any interest and that's what you need to know now how to make money using your credit card this is how you do it so i would advise if you think that you're uh, fiscally responsible i would advise that you take your bills and you put your bills or whatever you have to pay per month on your credit card but your credit card has to have rewards cash back flight mileage bonuses etc the more you spend your cards the more points you actually get so if you actually take your the balances um, from your from all of your your payments everything that you have to pay per month whether it's your cell phone cable TV internet um, car bi car uh, bill car insurance etc you take those and you put them on your credit card if you do have a cash back if you do not have any cash back or, or flight mileage uh, flight bonus mileage credit cards feel free to reach out to us now this is what you do you take all that, all of your bills, you put it on your credit card. Now, after you spend for that particular month, all of your bills on that particular credit card, you're going to start to get, see money back coming in, right? So it could be 1% um, uh, money back, cash back, maybe 2%. And if you have business credit cards, then it goes up to 5%. And that's the, one of the perks about having business credit cards, you get, that, you, that you actually get 5%. Um, cash back so you spend all, all of your money all of your bills on these particular credit cards after you do that at the end of the month whatever money that you have reserved that's sitting in the bank dump it into your credit card and pay your credit card in full when you pay your credit card in full then what happens is that it'll have a zero balance you're not gonna have to pay any interest on these particular credit cards you're gonna get points for for flights so you can pay you know for your family to go on vacation at the end of the year and you do it every single month and what's going to happen is that it's going to accrue over time you're going to have money that's going to be coming back to you you can request um that the money be sent to you via check you can also be uh you know you can also request that the money that you have or uh, that accrued, uh, over time that you've been you basically accumulating from spending it be sent to your checking account there's other ways to actually do it but you can actually make money using credit cards and it's very very simple easy to do all you have to do is just know how to you know put all your bills on that particular credit card but make sure to pay it back don't allow it to go over the 30 days and then 
what's going to happen is that you're going to have to pay interest on it. And what that's going to also do, as I mentioned earlier, is that's going to allow you to be able to get higher credit limits um, when you request for it. I will request that around every four to five months, call the bank or you can log into your account, your bank account online and request for a credit limit increase. Having your bills on your credit card is going to help you because they're going to see that you're, that you're actually utilizing the cards. All right, family, so I want to be able to give you all that tip and trick. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com. If you're ready to start healing your credit, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.